The LaserMet ICS-5 laser interlock control system is a compact, wall-mounted interlock controller designed to the highest standards of machine safety, which ensure that the system will always perform its safety function even in the event of multiple internal component failure. The ICS-5 is designed for maximum flexibility as well as maximum safety. It has three possible means of interfacing to the lasers. These interfaces can all be used at the same time. Interface type 1 is the laser beam shutter, which interrupts the laser beam without otherwise affecting the laser. Up to five shutters can be powered from the standard ICS-5. Interface type 2 is the laser interlock connector operator. This is connected by means of a lead to the interlock connector on the laser. Up to three lasers can be interlocked in this fashion from the standard ICS-5. Interface type 3 is the interlocked main supply. A laser can be plugged directly into this interlocked output. Up to 6 amps is available at mains voltage from the standard ICS-5. Upgrades are available to operate more shutters and interlock connectors or for higher current interlocked mains. For the purposes of the rest of this demonstration, we will show a laser beam shutter interface being used. On this demo model, the door represents the access door to a laser laboratory or other room containing laser equipment. The door is interlocked by means of a safety rated door interlock switch. Unlimited doors can be interlocked. Door status indication on the ICS-5 panel is available for up to four doors or zones. On the outside of the door is situated a compact LED sign with three discrete modes. Off, green no hazard message and red danger laser radiation message. Also outside the door is a keypad for secure operation of interlock override. To operate the laser, first turn on the ICS-5 power switch. This will bring on the illuminated sign outside the door. Then insert the interlock key switch and turn to the enable position. The safety circuit complete LED and the arm laser button will both illuminate. If any of the entrance doors are open, the control system cannot be reset and the laser cannot be fired. However, when all doors are closed, the system is ready for action. When the arm laser button is pressed, the interlocked lasers can be fired. The LED sign now changes status to give a danger warning. The beam shutter can now be opened by use of the green button and closed by use of the red button. When any access door is opened, the system shuts down all lasers, thus rendering them safe. The system can be reset by closing all doors and pressing the arm laser button. If you need to leave the room for a coffee break or lunch, but want your laser experiment to continue to run, this can be done by use of the override push button. When activated, the fail-safe, time-limited override will run for a user-adjustable time, typically 15 seconds, to allow a person to exit. As long as the door is closed before the end of the override period, the laser will continue to run. In the event that the door is left open, the system will disable the laser at the end of the override time. When returning to the laser room, authorised personnel can activate the override by entering the correct pin into the keypad. In the event of an emergency, the laser can be shut down by pressing the emergency stop button. When ready to resume operation, reset the emergency stop button and press arm laser. The shutter can then be opened again. What we have demonstrated so far is the standard non-locking laser interlock system. However, 
For laser operating theatres, laser lab experiments with a long duration, or other laser processes which would be costly or undesirable to interrupt, we recommend configuring the ICS-5 as a locking interlock system. When configured as a locking interlock system, a person attempting to open the door will find that they can't do so. This therefore prevents unintended interruption of the laser. Pressing the override push button activates the override and releases the maglock, allowing a person to leave the lab without interrupting the laser, as before. An authorised person wishing to enter the lab can enter the code into the keypad, activating the override and releasing the maglock. Emergency entry or exit is possible by pressing the emergency door release, allowing the door to be opened, which shuts down the laser.